This week on Life on Jupiter, in the crystal clear waters of Barbuda, with celebrity and seafood. This really was a paradise. Until it all goes down the toilet. The waters in Spanish Bay, Barbuda, are incredibly enticing. And if you know what you're doing, can provide you with dinner. Well, we couldn't find anything to catch, so we thought we'd better go with an expert. So we are in the dinghy of La Vagabond. Yeah. <laughs> Riley support team. Beautiful bay, I think it's called Spanish Bay, Barbuda. Yeah. It's the southern tip of Barbuda and it's just spectacular. We're going to take the drone for a flight. We're getting into the drone again. <laughs> First flights yesterday and we didn't crash. <laughs> so it's been a pretty good week, I guess, hasn't it? We've yeah. been here about four days and uh, we made friends with. La Vagabond over there and they're nice, they've been giving us some advice. Went spear fishing yesterday and lobsters and yeah, we're gonna head back to Antigua probably tomorrow or next day because we've run out of food, <laughs> run out of beer. <laughs> we had a lot of um, beach party here. Oh yeah, so <laughs> just here more than half of these boats, they all come ashore at about 4 p.m. and start drinking and playing games and lighting a fire. It's a really cool vibe, actually. Mm, I like it. Yeah. And the water is so clear. Yeah, this whole bay is about between two and five meters deep, and it's just crystal clear. Beautiful. 
Can we fly the drone now? Can we fly the drone? Let's fly the drone. It worked well, still too scared to go over the water, but we're getting there. I think we got some good shots, some yeah. nice colours. We just need confidence, Lee. No, we just need trust. Yeah. These are renowned for going in the water because they get confused, so let's just wait until they work out a firmware update for that. You helping? <laughs> Look at the, uh, the lovely shells. All right. Uh, I don't know. Well, maybe this, you know, this one's an old, being in the sun too long. But yeah, that's maybe not polished. Maybe it's just new. I got one for you. Well, uh, <laughs> this one's prettier. <laughs> Well, I don't know that we want it. It's pretty heavy. I want it. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. You. Well, this is the pink one. Oh, both. Oh, come on. Come on, me. They're heavy and it's rubbish. I want to put something inside. Soup. Nice. You want this one? Yep. Alright. you got to take care of it. Feed it every day. <laughs> I'm not cleaning up after it. <laughs> This really was a paradise lifestyle. But when reality strikes, such is life. I hate this job. 
So these toilets, uh, you know, they're great. They get rid of your stuff fairly well. But because it's salt water being flushed through, the, the outlet pipe is um, gets build up of, of calcium or scale on the inside of the pipe. And I, this is getting slower and slower to evacuate. So uh, I suspect the pipe needs cleaning. So uh, giving it a dose of bleach given it half a bottle already but in fact you can see the scale from the salt water already you know this should be your job you're a lot smaller than me but don't, you don't laugh too much because otherwise I'll make you do it <laughs> be careful Now this is the one I'm going to take off and this is the pipe I got to clean. You can see it all glued in there to try and make it a waterproof bulkhead. just so glad that I'm doing this before it got blocked up as in you know with <laughs> yeah uh, I'm only dealing with bleachy water right now and shit rocks but at least it's not you know oh yeah I mean I can hear them you know rattling around in there They're right down the bottom, of course, that's where they fall. Starting to move now. Starting to move. Mmm, <sighs> it's like panning for gold, huh? It's a lot. Think we'll find something. Ah, uh, but you can put it down there. Become millionaire. Now, try to rest the pump. It's gonna overheat. <sighs> yeah. We go out there. It's so hard for me to get in and out. I know, but the water, the pump needs to rest. It does. You want to bring me lunch in here? <laughs> you really want to eat there. Why not? I'm a shitty yachty. So that toilet idea yesterday didn't work. And just talking to some friends, we are now trying hydrochloric acid. So something is happening, it's bubbling away in there.
So in theory, that'll dissolve all the calcium buildup and uh, clear it up. So fingers crossed. It's I tried clearing the hose, the outlet hose. They get uh, sedimented up, you know, it's like rocks inside that. I I think I cleared that pretty well. But it's still not pumping out very nicely, so I guess it's the impeller. We're gonna take it apart and have a look. And now I've poured all sorts of chemicals through here, hydrochloric acid to clear the uh, calcification and uh, bleach. So it's nice and clean, although it doesn't look like that. But anyway, it's a big job because this glue, this toilet is a, like a full size, nearly full size, like it's called a deluxe and it's glued to the bulkhead. So I'm gonna to have to cut away all the glue just to get to the base or underneath the toilet. So getting there, but yeah, look, this is all the glue I have to cut away. So all the plumbing comes through the bulkhead and this is a watertight bulkhead because it's in the bow. So I, all the hoses have got Sikaflex all around them. I'll show you. So I had to cut this away. These were all glued to seal the, uh, the holes to make sure it's watertight. So I had to cut all that glue away. And hopefully I can pull away the toilet from the wall. Can you push on my leg to make sure the toilet doesn't work? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. Hmm. Undo the hoses and we should be good to go. The hoses are stuck on, of course, so I need some hot water to. Could you boil the kettle for me? Pour on here and we will. Uh, hoses will come off if we make them hot. Alright, yeah, getting somewhere. Uh, toilet bowl is out. But the uh, the motor, this is a TMC electric toilet. They're good actually, but and they're quite cheap. They're about less than 200 US dollar. Um, anyway, you can see there's been leakage around here, which is not pretty. But uh, I'm going to take this apart now and uh, just see why she won't clear. But first, I've got to remove this. This is hard, so I'm going to boiling water, and I think my water is ready. Hot on the feet. After removing the hose, it quickly became apparent that I still had a blockage. All the rocks had fallen down to the lowest point of the hose, which of course is at the base of the toilet. So yeah, I mean I was bashing the hose thinking I was releasing it, but it was all falling down to the bottom here. So now I'm going to change this system so that I can clean the hose properly every time. What I've done is shorten hose stumps through the bulkhead. Now these two stumps, it's inlet and outlet. And I'm going to now put those joiners in have uh, another joiner there, lots of hose clamps, so that I can easily replace the outlet hose when I need to. And I only have about six inches or maybe eight inches of outlet hose to clean down there. 
and then I'm never having to unglue the toilet from the bulkhead again. Hopefully, that's the theory anyway. Once I glue this up later today, hopefully that's the last time I have to. Click on this playlist to view more tech tips from Life on Jupiter.